Hello everyone and welcome back to the Do Digital YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Google Analytics. So how can it really help you to understand your consumers, see what they're doing online, how they're engaging with your product or services, and really just optimize the online experience. So Google Analytics is an absolutely free tool that's offered by Google themselves. And I really, really enjoy using it because it really does give you that depth of knowledge and allow you to genuinely make data driven decisions, which I guess is the holy grail of what everyone wants to do online. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So the first one is that it really does help you to better understand your site, your product and your service. So there are a lot of metrics and data points available to you using Google Analytics that'll enable you to understand if someone is enjoying a piece of content, not enjoying a piece of content, buying a product, not buying a product. And if you kind of track that online journey, you're going to have a great understanding as a business owner of what needs improvement or what is actually serving you really well in your business. So it really does give you that opportunity to be able to prioritize your effort and know where things are underperforming and potentially even overperforming. So there is a lot of granularity in the data, but I'd say the key things that you'd be looking at when you're unpacking and evaluating your site content and products, it would be things like time on site. So how long is someone actually looking at your website? Bounce rate is a key indicator. So the higher your bounce rate, the worse your content is on your landing page because you don't want people to see something and then be clicking off because it ultimately means that it was not relevant to them. Things like your click through rates to understand which of the pages are actually enjoying really high click through rates versus the number of people that land on the page, how many people are clicking on that particular page. And then you can also rank pages by most and least popular, which I find super helpful because it allows you to get into the nitty gritty of what people are using your site to do, what information is most valuable to them, and how can you create more of that kind of content? So the second key benefit of Google Analytics is better understanding your customer. So as I've said, the granularity on Google Analytics is pretty eerie at times. It can even tell you what handset someone is using, what browser they are using to look at your site and a lot of information that'll really give you a full picture of who they are. So you might think maybe that this is not as relevant, but for example, if the main operating system or handset that people are using to access your product is the top of the range iPhone, then you know that your target audience is probably quite affluent. They have disposable income and maybe there's products that you haven't necessarily thought of that should be tailored to that specific audience. In addition to the devices that they use, you can see the, their behavior. So how are they actually engaging with your online product? You can get a great indication of their interests using the advanced targeting that is available on Google Analytics. In regards to customers, you're wanting to see how customers are interacting with your site and analytics really does reveal a lot about these people. So if someone is leaving your site without taking action, you can backtrack their actions and see what is it that's maybe put them off continuing down your purchase journey or what is actually causing them to convert. So it really is good at retrospectively looking at how people are engaging with the product and where the sticking points are for those particular customers. Third key benefit of Google Analytics is understanding that not all content is made equal. So you may be producing content that you think is highly valuable, but it's much better to rely on data to unpack this insight. So you don't want to be allocating your own resources, whether it be time or money to supporting all of your content all of the time. So a better use of your marketing spend and of your time as a small business owner would be to put your time and energy towards stuff that really does serve you. And similarly, putting your media spend behind the stuff that already does well organically. So I like that it gives you this matrix of what is going to be high impact and low effort as opposed to just approaching everything as though all things were equal, which they never are. 
So when we talk about making data-driven decisions, this is going to be our fourth key benefit. So everyone talks about this in digital marketing, but you honestly want to ask them, what exactly do you mean by data-driven decisions? Well, the dashboards that are available in Google Analytics mean that unless you want to, you're not looking at raw data in that CSV file, for example, you're actually looking at trends over time, which helps you, even if you're not good at maths or understanding statistics, to really understand what are the trends over time and what does this tell us. So if there's, for example, a page that performs really well over time and maybe we're seeing an upward trajectory of a piece of content, then it's a great idea, obviously, to leverage on something that is serving you. And equally, if something is not serving your business, you can then know, okay, that's actually a trend over a long period of time. And you can toggle with the time frame as much as you like in regards to the website data and then see, okay, cool. This is going to be what I'm going to focus on for this quarter. And this is crucial because if I don't do this, this is the outcome that I'm going to get. So there's that degree of predictability and the ability to actually see, okay, I have a sample size that is typically pretty big. I mean, it's much bigger than what you'd be able to have if you were running a survey, as an example. You could say, of the thousand people that have visited my site, this is the trend that I'm actually seeing. And then you make decisions off the back of that, as opposed to saying, what am I going to work on this quarter? What I think is important. It's rather what the data tells you. And when we say data in this instance, it can honestly be as broad as the trends that you see on the dashboards. And the fifth key benefit of Google Analytics is all about conversion. So you might think that conversion only pertains to e-commerce, but to be honest with you, it really does pertain to most businesses because you're wanting to drive people to a particular result. Whether or not they check out online is a different story. But if we speak about this point of conversion and optimizing for conversion, my favorite quote, and I'm going to read it so that I don't muck it up, is by a guy called John Wanamaker, who famously said, half the money I spend on advertising is wasted and the trouble is I do not know which half. So there is now no excuse for marketers to waste half of the spend on advertising because you should be able to see exactly what is hiking your cost per conversion or reducing your cost per conversion. So obviously you're wanting as low a cost per conversion as you possibly can have, because it means that you're able to market your business at scale and get people to a specific point in the marketing journey or purchase journey and actually have them be very close to converting. So even for offline businesses, it's obviously important to still understand what is working and what's not. The difference is the attribution is quite different. So if your business is online, you can track every tiny granular detail to that person's conversion. Whereas with an offline journey, at some stage, obviously someone is moving offline and you're not able to have that same degree of granularity. But I would still suggest using the data as far as you possibly can, even if that's not down to a purchase level decision. So no matter what niche you're in, no matter whether you're online or offline, tracking is an imperative part of running a small business online. And Google Analytics works in tandem with tools like Google's UTM Builder, which is, stands for an urchin tracking module, or as Google calls it now, the Google Campaign URL Builder, as well as link shorteners like Bitly, which you frequently see on social media networks. All that these do is add an additional element or layer to your tracking process and allow you to have that much deeper insight of who's clicking on those links, when they're clicking on those links, and in what frequency. I want to just flag to you guys that there's a lot of resources online that'll help you with Google Analytics so you don't ever need to feel stuck. So for example, there's even an app for Google Analytics which you can find. There's a Google Analytics demo account which Google offers which you can play around in. If you're interested in becoming an expert, there's an Analytics Academy and an Analytics Help Center. And then the more advanced tools which we will get into in subsequent videos around things like Google Data Studio. Then I've mentioned the campaign URL builder also works in tandem with Google Analytics. So that's also worth checking out. And then some more advanced tools like Tag Manager, Tag Assistance, and so forth. So I really hope you found this valuable. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to obviously like and subscribe. I cannot wait to see you guys in our next video so that we can continue to do digital better. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help